Welcome to MobileSyrup.com, mobile news and reviews for Canadians. This is the HTC Magic recently launched by Rogers, one of two devices that they put out with the Android platform. And overall, it's got a great build quality. It feels nice in the hand, only has a weight of 116 grams. In regards to what it looks like, dimensions-wise, just bring in the iPhone 3GS. Looks like it can almost fit right inside the iPhone. So in regards to what it looks like width-wise, the iPhone is a little bit thinner while the Magic is a little bit more bulkier, but clearly the Magic weighs a great deal less. You can see on the front here, it's got a 3.2 inch touchscreen, resolution of 320 by 480 HVGA screen, dedicated home key, menu key, your dedicated back button and a dedicated search key, your pickup and also hang up and power button, plus it has a trackball that you can use for many various features of this device, mainly to get yourself around here. Plus, when you do have messages, it does light up. The top here, this is your earphone plus speakers on the bottom, and it has a USB to charge it up. Plus, also, this acts as your earphones. The unfortunate thing about this is that there is no 3.5mm earphone jack or 2.5mm earphone jack, but I hear they are building that in the future for their upcoming devices. Left hand side you do have your volume rocker. Nothing on the top, nothing on the right hand side. Flip it to the back. You can see that it does gather a great deal of fingerprints. So if you're a person who doesn't like fingerprints, just make sure you bring a cloth with you. A 3.2 megapixel camera that can take video. It's got a zoom on there but no flash so it'll be tough to take pictures during the nighttime. Plus also this is where your speaker is located. Other than that, nothing really else to this. This is your SIM card plus a micro SD. It can hold up to 16 gigs and let's just go right into this. One of the main features of this is the use of how easy it is to get around this device. It does work on Google's Android platform, so it really is simple to use. Really impressed with the actual quality of, of this OS. It's simple and easy to understand. So if we go straight into the menu options, these are the applications plus any applications you have downloaded. Let's say you do want to bring an application right onto your desktop and make it customizable. All you have to do is hold it down and it brings it right onto the desktop that you do want. If you don't want to have it in there, simply hold it and bring it back down. Also, what they've done, you can really, it's really fun to use this. See how easy it is to use. Plus, in addition, if you do want to make something appear on the top here, say you don't want the clock, simply swipe it down. But if you do want to bring something right on the desktop, want to create a shortcut, for example, to an application you do want, if you do is hold down the screen and it'll bring up a menu. Let's say you want to bring, I don't know, the calendar right onto the screen there. It brings it right there. So that's just another way to make this customizable. Let's go straight into the Android market. It's one of the things that they've included here. The unfortunate thing for us Canadians currently is that it doesn't support any paid applications. There's only free applications that it does have here. So I hear they are getting them, but currently not yet available. So I'll just take you into a quick application so we can download, see how easy it is to download them. You can see it's loading up. All you have to do is press install, say OK. You can see on the top here that it is downloading it. You'll see that this is not just a bar for your downloading applications, but for any messages you do have, any alerts, text messages, you can see it's downloading it. When it is completed, it'll say, this has been successfully downloaded. Also, this on top here shows the time, any signal strength, the speed that you're in. So it's really easy to really get to know this. You can see on the top here it said successfully downloaded. So if we go to our menu, Just pull it up, 
and it'll show that I just downloaded this spades with ads here so it's gonna pull up the application you can see that this is the game that I just downloaded so there you go pretty easy to really get to know this let's go right back out I will show you another feature of this which is the browser see it shows up Google really nice I'll just type in something here it does both ways got the accelerometer I prefer this way rather than the other way so I can type in CNN and press go really is fast loads page really nice so one of the great things about this is that it makes it easy to navigate for example if you want to zoom out you just have to press that zoom button right on the bottom there and if you want to find a story you see this thing on the right hand side here it's like a square all you have to do is navigate over the images and it kind of works as a magnifying glass to really seek and understand what stories you do want to read and when you do find it you just have to press it and it'll bring it up that much sooner so it's pretty cool it's really easy to understand and really easy to read this impress with it it's fast they work on something called windows so let's say you do have many browsers going at the same time you can flip back and forth between them all you have to do is press the menu and go back to the page you were on before so pretty easy to use this brings up really clear images as well if we go back out to the home screen I'll just show you what YouTube looks like not too sure what this is so the video quality is really good streams really fast that's nice so it's really good speakers on the back it's got some good quality speakers there in regards to the actual camera itself I'll show you that just some pictures that I did take so it's got a 3.2 megapixel camera you can take video if you do want to scroll through your pictures you just have to use the button down here at the bottom or you can use the trackball you can't scroll or use it here so one of the things about it is that you just have to use the actual keep on pressing it also I will take you to the video show you the video quality it's got a 3.2 megapixel camera that has video quality I'm really impressed with this is what I did while I was driving you can see the quality is really good so that's the camera I'm actually really impressed with it so I'll take you to the actual other features of this one of them being the mail it's simple to really use this so one of the things that's easy to do is set up your mail system with this it's so incredibly fast and simple to do we set this up literally within 15 seconds of getting uh, this activated really happy with that simple easy you can do your gmail you can do your pop and all your outlook other features of this is the music and you can see I have it right on top here I've loaded it in and all you have to do this is just one of the applications that is on here Because I said on the back, 
It's got some decent sound to it. So we'll have more information in our second review of this on MobileSyrup.com. Overall, really impressed with this.